Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnesswinner.com and today I have a cardio step workout for you that especially targets the butt and thighs. All you're going to need for this routine is a step or any other kind of bench that you can safely jump on and off of. I've included a short cardio warm up, so let's go ahead and get started. Our first few intervals are nice and light because we're warming up. So we're gonna start off with a high knee march. We're not even gonna step on that bench yet. Just a nice basic uh, warm up move here, getting your blood flowing, getting your lungs ready to work. Wanna make sure that you don't jump into this thing just from a dead start. It's not good for your body. So again, these first warm up exercises we're doing for 50 seconds a piece. So just make sure that you start to move a little faster towards the end of each of these intervals. You can start off as slow as you need to, but just start to, as you get warm, move a little bit quicker. Another thing, as soon as you're even vaguely familiar with this routine, feel free to turn on music. It's a lot better if you have music to work out to. It helps you move faster. You can always move faster than me, slower than me, whatever you need to to get this done. All right, in about five seconds, we're gonna switch to just a basic step up onto your bench or your step. So up, up, down, set this foot down, and then bring it right back up so that each time you're alternating which leg is leading. You wanna make sure you do these things equally. You don't want imbalanced strength. Swing your arms a little bit. All right, pull in your core. Nice and tall while you're doing this stuff. We're halfway done with this interval. Ten seconds, and we're switching to just a basic butt kicker off of the step. All right, here we go. So, it's another simple cardio move: kicking yourself in the butt. You can move as fast or slow as you need to. You can even stop and make it a lot lower impact if you like. A lot of these exercises can be made um, less impactful by just stepping into the movement instead of doing the jumps that I'm showing. Keep it going. About 20 seconds left. All right, 10 seconds. We're gonna move from side to side on the stair, doing a row plus a lift. Two, one, here we go. So up, pull, and lift one leg as you do it. Make sure that you're alternating which leg is doing that lift each time. I'm doing the lift on my opposite leg right here. And squeeze so you feel a pinch in between those shoulder blades. seconds of warm up left. Two, one. All right, next up we're moving into the actual routine. So we're going to step it up a notch, grab a water bottle and keep it nearby if you need it. All right, we're doing 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest for eight different intervals. We're starting off with three knees on each side of the step. So here, one, two, three, three steps. So you end up on the other side doing the same thing on the opposite side of the body. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if you remember that count, it makes it a lot easier. Do this as fast as you can. Stay low while you're doing these repeater knees. Halfway down already. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right, next up we're doing a hop, two-footed hop onto our step, back down for two jack steps, and then repeat. 
Here you go. So up, back down. One, two. Try to land soft with a nice wide stance. That's halfway. You can always step on one at a time, back down if you want less impact. All right, and that's it for that. Here's our active rest. We only had 10 seconds. So take a deep breath while you can. We're doing side steps plus kicks. So high kick this time with the outside foot, and then switch. Again, make sure you're kicking on the opposite leg each time. seconds left. Our next interval is going to be a tough one. Ten seconds. Two, one. All right, here's our active rest. So you're going to stand over your stair. So we're jumping up and then back down. So up into a squat here. So up and then start back down into a squat and tap the mat with your step each time you come down with the opposite hand. If this is too hard, here. Just make sure that you're switching which hand you come down with each time. About 15 seconds left. Woo. halfway done with this entire routine. Let's just keep that in mind. This goes by quick. About 15 seconds left. Five, three, two, one. Oh, okay, next up, we're doing crossover steps, so we're going across the step again. A nice quick movement. Here we go. So down and then switch. So your two feet are never on the step at the same time. You're moving that quickly. If this is too hard, just one at a time. Slow it down, step down one foot at a time. Step up, plus a lift with some arms. 
with our last heart interval. Here we go. Pull. Suck in your belly. Squeeze your glutes. Already slowing down a little bit. This is our second to last interval, so there is no cool down on this. If you're not done working out, you want to make sure that you add a cool down onto this. Otherwise, if you still have some juice left, uh, lower body strength training or a little more endurance cardio, depending on what your program looks like, might be good to follow up after this. All right, our last interval. It's a nice, easy, basic stunt, just like we started out with. Oh, and I'll send you on your way. Here we go. Up, up, down, down. The same one comes back up. So this is our very first step workout ever. You guys have been asking for this for a while now. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you might want to see in the next one. Do you want it to be a longer workout? Is it too hard, too easy? Let me know. Fifteen seconds left. Three, two, and one. All right, guys, good job. Like I said, if you're not moving on to another workout right after this, make sure that you find one of our cool down and stretches. Otherwise, good job, guys. This workout is complete.